So UT Austin has just opened up the applications for its first ever online master's degree in artificial intelligence. The first of its kind in the nation debuting next spring. Now, obviously, AI is an emerging field. The university estimates there will be 97 million new AI related jobs globally just over the next two years. And UT says it's already received about 10,000 inquiries about this program. So we wanted to know, how do you go about teaching something like this? To answer that question, we came to the program's brain trust here at the Gates Dell Complex at UT, a building that, by the way, is designed to look like a microchip, to get a better understanding of what exactly these students will be learning. By now, you've probably heard a lot about AI, technology like ChatGPT that can mimic human language, and generators like Dolly that can create images of anything you can imagine. The applications for computers that can do the thinking for us are pretty endless. Organizations, companies are in dire need of people with these skills, uh, but there aren't enough people out there to hire. Eric Bush is the Managing Director of Computer and Data Science Online for UT Austin. He says UT's AI Master's program has been scaled to educate thousands of students, many of them already working professionals, as opposed to the dozens that would typically sit in a physical classroom for an advanced field like this. So this has been something that's been in the works for a while. The degree has also been priced at about $10,000. And that is a game changer for a lot of folks. People have realized that these tools are changing the way that we're doing business and we're doing science. So computer science majors and computer science master's degree students keep telling us we need to learn these tools. We Professor to Adam Clivens, director of UT's machine learning lab, will be leading some of the AI courses. He says students will be required to have some base knowledge in computer science, statistics, or electrical engineering. I had to ask him though, in his simplest explanation for us, what will they be learning when it comes to AI? Well, I think first they're learning sort of the mathematical tools that underlie all of these techniques. As for fears on the potential pitfalls of AI, Clivens and Bush say of the 10 courses offered in this program, the only one that will be required will be ethics. 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 We're taking that very seriously, and we have a lot of case studies to show, you know, when the tools can go a little off the rails and how you can compensate to make sure that that doesn't happen. And once again, the applications just opened this month. We have a link to the program's website on our website at kxan.com.